With the ongoing drought conditions in Central Oregon, our weather team is asked every fall, what does winter have in store for us? This week, News Channel 21 meteorologist Katie Zuniga went to work to find out. It's the question on many of our minds. Will we have a wet or a dry winter? I went to Portland for the American Meteorological Society's Winter Weather Forecast Conference and did my own forecasting to see what we could be in store for this season. Whether you pray for snow. I love it when it's winter. Or prefer a mild winter. I do not like the winter. I'm not a winter guy. I don't ski, I don't snowboard. Central Oregon could benefit from a good wet winter or two. So Central Oregon has been dealing with significant drought, as you know, for a long period of time. Uh, this is not going to just fix itself in one single winter. AMS President Steve Pierce says it'll probably take four or five significantly wet winters with high snowpack in the Cascades to get Central Oregon out of drought. One important factor to consider when forecasting a winter outlook is whether we're in an El Nino or a La Nina weather pattern. We are in that La Nina pattern and we're looking at about an 80 to 90 percent chance that we'll continue through that. Pierce says this plays in our favor when it comes to drought. A La Nina year typically portends wetter and cooler than normal conditions across the Pacific Northwest. That would certainly bode well for the significant, severe in some cases, and exceptional drought that folks in Central Oregon have been dealing with for a couple of years now. Even though all signs point to a third La Nina weather pattern, not all La Ninas are created equal. So this year we're transitioning into that weak La Nina uh, kind of pattern. So the yellow section here that shows about a 75% chance that will sit in that weak La Nina pattern. A strong La Nina could mean more snow in the Cascades, while a weak one would mean less. Although, additionally, this is the third La Nina in a row, so three winners with La Nina, and that's very rare. That's only happened twice since 1950. There are very few analogs or similar years in the past that we can draw on that are a third consecutive year of La Nina. So we're kind of in uncharted territories when it comes to three La Ninas in a row, so we'll see how it plays out this year. I didn't want to just take everyone's word for it, so I did some digging myself. First, I wanted to verify we were in a La Nina pattern. To do that, you look at the equatorial sea surface temperatures and see if they are below average across most of the Pacific Ocean. Next, I looked at the PDO, or Pacific Decadal Oscillation. We're in a negative phase, which means we have warmer than normal sea surface temperatures here and colder than normal sea surface temperatures here. That supports the La Nina-like climate pattern. It's also important to know in El Nino and La Nina events, it causes the path of the jet stream to move over the U.S. in different locations. The positions where the greatest evaporation of water into the atmosphere shifts as well. In the La Nina pattern, the jet streams shift poleward, and this sets us up for cooler and wetter than average conditions. It looks like I'm seeing similar conditions as others at the Winter Weather Forecast Conference. I think things bode well. We'll see how the forecast plays out for a uh, wetter than normal winter across all of Oregon, including Central Oregon. With all that being said, Mother Nature always throws a wrench in when it's La Nina. This is the official NOAA winter 2022-23 precipitation outlook map. Oregon is leaning toward 33 to 50% chance of above normal precipitation this season. Tonight we're asking, do you prefer a snowy winter? To weigh in, head over to our web poll on the KTVZ.com homepage. You can find it on previous, you can vote, I should say, on previous polls under our polls page, which you'll find under the news tab.